This is the Self-Aware Leader Podcast. Now your host, Jason Rigby. Anger. Let's talk about anger. For some of you, you could be a man, woman, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're a teenager and you're listening to this. I've got a lot of young people listening to this. It's like, why am I angry? Why do I get angry so quickly? Maybe you know some. Maybe it's a spouse. And it's like, why the minute something happens and I get triggered, I'm furious. And this irritation is so deep inside of me. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is the trigger hits and the flamethrower comes on. What do you think this comes from? You see this like it, you'll see we see crazy Karen videos, don't we, on Instagram or whatever? We watch them and they're just going berserk, right? And you're like, yeah, I've been pretty close. I haven't gone that far, thank God, because of all the cameras that are out there. But I have been very close. I want you to consider something that anger is just a projection. Anger is you subconsciously attributing your own emotions to something else that's in your life. It's a projection, much like projecting a film onto a screen. The emotions are within you. That's the film reel. But it looks like it's coming from the other person. And this, a lot of times, whether it's a trigger that your parents put in you, whether it's a trigger that happened when, as a defensive mechanism, all it takes is that trigger, and then guess what happens? It could be anybody. It's not your spouse. Your spouse just happens to hit the trigger more often because they're around you more often. It could be a kid. It could be a spouse. It could be a work you could be a friend and maybe your friend doesn't hit your trigger as much because you guys aren't around very much and you guys stay pretty shallow and you don't get really deep. But this is projection is subconscious. And all it is, is someone that is suffering. Because when you're projecting, let's say somebody says something kind of mean or hurtful. And then you get super pissed off and say something stupid back. Well, you could be like, I'm the victim. They said something very hurtful. Look how angry she was or he was. But it was justified because that person said something mean. And a lot of us carry the anger around. And like I said, it's like this switchblade knife that's ready to just pop out at any moment. And owning fear, because that's really what anger is, guys. Most of our problems, if you get to the root of it, it's just fear. Your feelings of anger are just fear. And they're just a projection, that emotion or feeling is just a projection that you project out into the world. You're the one consumed by anger, but yet you see the other person as being the perpetrator and you're the victim. And it's also a form of narcissistic control because you can make it all about you. You're the victim. You know, you can't help it. You're just, you just have a temper. You get angry. You're Irish. The list goes on and on. What is really fueling it? What's really behind it? I think that the emotion is fear. But I also think that you're not loving or accepting something about yourself. That you don't have inner peace. Because if you did, what would be the reason to get angry? Who cares what another person's opinion is? Who cares what their statement is? We can always find reasons to be angry or upset, right? How much injustice is out there for us? If we're a victim, every moment that makes us feel uncomfortable is an injustice, right? Analyze it. Figure out, what am I being fearful of? Go through and say, why was I triggered? 
guys, it's a self-aware leader. This is self-awareness questions. Why am I blaming this other person? Why is this triggering me so hard? Why am I getting instantly angry? What is this? Reveal it to me. If you ask in a prayer to your higher self, to God, to the universe, I guarantee you, if you make it a point, you can solve it. The answers is within inside of you. You don't need to read 100 books. You can read books. Maybe it'll help you with you know the awakening or whatever. But the harmony that you're seeking is in loving yourself. Learning to love yourself is hard. Most people, if I give them a list, they could write all the stuff bad about them. If I tell them what are amazing about themselves, they have a hard time. I've done this lots in training. When you don't love yourself, the whole world is against you. Your spouse is against you. Your kids are against you. Your boss is against you. And it's easy. You could just make nasty comments, say stupid shit, and then blame others for everything that's gone wrong in your life. As I said before, that's a victim mentality. The ego loves to play the victim. And you're justified, right? Not really. The bad feelings inside of you that are projections, you can kind of halfway manage those, can't you? But inside, we're fearful that we can't, that we're going to unconsciously be afraid. If you can love all parts of you, including your anger, and this sounds weird, guys. For, for some of you guys, this is really hard. You've never even heard or talked about putting yourself first or loving yourself first. Women have a hard time putting themselves first. They want to self-sacrifice for everything and everybody else so that they're hopefully good enough. Men have a hard time loving themselves because we have this stupid version of masculinity that it's not even true. Learning to love yourself is being whole and complete and having inner peace, having harmony with yourself. Why would you not want that mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically? So that anger you're feeling inside, and I know most we could say that most guys probably have the issue with anger. That anger you have in your side is a disharmony, a dis-ease, a dis-ease. There's, there's something wrong it mentally, spiritually, and emotionally inside of you, and I say physically too because it will affect that, that you need to heal. And the only way you heal it is to love it. You need to laugh and love when you get angry. It'll diffuse it so quickly. Say, you know what? I was just, tell your, if it's with somebody that triggers you all the time, to spouse love and tell them, say, hey, I'm working on myself. I'm trying to love myself more. It has nothing to do with you. My anger is my problem and I'm working on it. So if I start laughing or, or I leave the room and, and I'm joking around with myself or I'm talking to myself, don't think I'm going crazy. Don't think I'm angry. I'm just talking myself through it giving myself some self-aware questions. Let them listen to this podcast. If you are, if you have a spouse or somebody that has anger issues, give them space. You, a lot of times, like the trigger. There's a dysfunction in the relationship where two people will know that they can pull the power card because they know they can dig where it hurts. Now, you don't want to hurt your spouse subconsciously, but the trauma and the drama inside of you and that feeling of uncomfort is like, oh, here's my knife. Let me stab you with this. And then the anger comes out and let me stab you with this. See, it's two spouses. You will find ideas and solutions if you begin to love your anger. You will begin less and less triggered. And guess what? I'm going to use a word guide. Guys, this is crazy. You will begin to extend kindness which is love. Strangers, loved ones, you're not going to want to listen to the news and get angry over politics. You're going to feel at harmony with yourself. You're going to feel good with life. You're going to have a positive attitude towards others. And if that sounds stupid to you, you've got a lot of work to do, guy. And I encourage you, because I had this conversation with someone the other day and we were going over this. And Gay Hendricks helped me a lot with this. And I mentioned him a lot on the podcast, guys. And he has a whole thing on on anger and irritability and loving yourself. Um, and his name, he's an older guy, but he has some great books. You can go on Amazon. It's, his name is Gay Hendricks. But he talks about this. Practice attracting more love and kindness. 
by being more self-aware, by loving yourself and being kind to yourself, that'll attract more love and kindness from others, right? The higher vibration we're vibrating at, the more we're going to attract abundance in our lives. The lower vibration that we're at, which is anger, guilt, depression, fear, we're just going to attract more of that. So I encourage you guys, feel free, feel free, relax, laugh about it, joke around, have fun with it, ask the self-aware questions, figure it out. I guarantee you, you're going to find three, four, five things in your childhood or when you were a teenager where you're embarrassed or coach said something stupid and you're going to be like, oh, that's what it is. I get triggered from this. That's, that's dumb. I'm not 13 anymore. I'm 35. I'm not seven anymore and helpless when my mom and dad were yelling at me or my dad was being abusive. I'm 45. And put love and compassion towards the seven-year-old. Talk to you as a seven-year-old and heal that wound. It's that simple, guys. I'm going to let you go. I encourage you, share this with others. I don't ask for anything. But I do ask that you share the podcast with other leaders And we are getting our website up, selfawareleadership.com. So I encourage you to go to that. If you have any questions, any, you know what, you want to do a QA, uh, you want to spend 10, 15 minutes with me, ask me a couple questions. I do that all the time. I'd be more than happy to do that. I'm going to release a QA again here pretty soon. Once I get about 25 really good questions, then that's when I really love to do it. I could do two episodes, 10 and, you know, 15 or something like that. But I have quite a bit now. But, I want to encourage you guys, give me more, DM me. Uh, You know where I'm at. I'm all online. Thank you for subscribing on Substack and share this with others, guys. Uh, Appreciate and love each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in to the Self-Aware Leader Podcast with host Jason Rigby. We hope this episode has inspired you to unleash your full potential and embrace your inner leadership. By expanding your consciousness, you can transform your mind, body, and soul and become the remarkable leader you were always meant to be. If you found this episode valuable, please share it with your loved ones and help us expand our community. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to having you join us again on the Self-Aware Leader Podcast.